This Veterans Day, we are honoring the brave men and women who have served this country both in times of conflict and in times of peace. Their dedication and service help keep us all safe. Now, every vet has a unique perspective of their service and then reacclimating to civilian life. So joining me now is retired Army Staff Sergeant Rico Roman, who's also a decorated Team USA Toyota Paralympic athlete. Uh, Rico, thank you for your service and thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me. Happy Veterans Day. Yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's a good day. Um, so let's talk about your service time. And I'm curious, what does Veterans Day mean to you today now that you've had a few years out of the service? I think for me personally, it's a day to uh, celebrate the sacrifices of the men and women that have served our country uh, and just to tell them thank you. And, and I feel like it doesn't have to always be just on Veterans Day. I think it's really nice when people just... Uh, you know, notice that I had served and say, you know, hey, thank you for your service, as well as I return that same favor when I see older veterans that I've, I've noticed maybe they'll have like a hat on that says, you know, served or veteran stuff like that. So it's OK to say thank you year round. Year round. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Good. totally. Good. I appreciate that. Well, I'm actually curious, you know, adjusting to civilian life, I know, is, is challenging and can be a different experience for a number of different veterans. What advice would you have on your own reentry and then re, uh, resources maybe that veterans might take advantage of. Yeah, I think for me, uh, being around other veterans really helped with my uh, recovery. Uh, unfortunately, I was injured in, in my last tour, and I think being around other veterans really helped that recovery. Um, you know, when it comes to, like, finding uh, employment and stuff like that, uh, I believe, uh, what is it, H uh, hiringheroes.org mm -hmm. that have great resources that you can look into and uh, look up places to help get employment. Uh, but I, I definitely think being around that community is so helpful with uh, your rehabilitation and getting back into regular civilian life. No, it, it, again, I appreciate you also saying that, you know, veterans helping veterans really makes that cycle even more easier. Um, okay, Rico, I can't let you go. You're also <laughs> a gold medal winner of Team USA, at Toyota Paralympics. Can you show some yeah, of the hardware yeah, here? Yeah. What do you got? I mean, we just we just won here in 2022. Oh my uh, God! You're holding this up. Yeah, man. right there. This, this, look at this. Look at this. This is bring it, bring it back some gold for <laughs> Team USA. Now, just this is this is heavy. This is huge and heavy. This is great. And, and remind me, you know, what what did you play? I yes, I play uh, Paralympic sled hockey. Uh, you know, uh, like I had mentioned, I got injured back in 07, and during my rehab uh, in San Antonio, Texas, uh, found this amazing sport. Uh, rehabbing this picture and, right there yeah right there <laughs> little hockey on the ice yeah uh, and and i think that was so great that locker room that community uh especially in san antonio all military city like that and i feel um it just opened the doors and uh went and tried out didn't make it the first time but made it the second uh, the second tryouts and uh, here we are now, three gold medals later. The, time, the team has won the last five gold medals. Uh, and and I'm, they might li make it look easy, but there's a lot of hard work that goes into that team. And uh, I've been so blessed to be a part of it for over 12 years now playing wow. at that high level. That's amazing. I'm curious, were there a lot of other veterans who were part of this team? Yes. So uh, I'm one of the first war wounded veterans to make this team. Wow. And then after that, we've I want to say almost half of our team is now military uh, service members. No kidding. All different branches. Army and Marine Corps uh, are the top uh, on our team at the at the moment. Yeah. Oh man! So the service and winning for our country just continues. It, it's amazing <laughs> to be able to put on that red, white, and blue, and 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 to see your flag raised in the other countries after winning is is something you'll you'll never forget for sure. Ah, Rico, I appreciate your story so much and for sharing it. Retired Army Staff Sergeant Rico Roman, again, thank you for your service and for being here today. Thank really you so much. It. Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans out there. Good man.